Now we are going to discuss about uh, factors affecting the crystal field splitting energy. Factors on crystal field splitting energy. So the number one, first one, first factor is oxidation state on complex. Let us take some of the examples. Now, ruthenium H2O6 times plus 2. Here, ruthenium H2O6 times plus 3. Now here, oxidation state on the complex increases from top to bottom. Now, what about the delta O values of these two? Now here, delta O value is 19,800 approximately. Now here, delta O is, is nothing but 28,600 and centimeter inverse. Now here, centimeter inverse. That means, uh, here the crystal field splitting energy like this. So here, the first one. Now here, the crystal field splitting energy is more than that, uh, first now here crystal field splitting energy gap is more now when compared to first one that means uh, here oxidation state increases uh, crystal field splitting increases oxidation state increases crystal field splitting increases let us take another example cobalt h2o6 times plus 2 is uh, 9200 and centimeter inverse 9200 and centimeter inverse in case cobalt h2o6 times plus 3 it is approximately 20,600 and centimeter inverse. Approximately 20,600 and centimeter inverse. Now, in both the cases, what we what we conclude that oxidation state on complex is directly proportional to the crystal field splitting energy. Is directly proportional to the crystal field splitting energy. Now, we will go with the second example. Second factor. The second one is, if oxidation state is the same, but uh, they are differ in their electrons, their d electrons. So let us take the example. So cobalt H two O six times plus plus two. That means uh, we already discussed the nine thousand two hundred and centimeter inverse. Nine thousand two hundred and centimeter inverse. In case uh, nickel H two O six times plus two. Here the delta O value abnormally it decreases. It uh, almost all uh, 8500 and centimeter inverse. 8500 and centimeter inverse. So now what we observed if the oxidation state of the metal uh, both the complexes are same, but they are differ the uh, delta O value. So now here another factor is there that is nothing but here the d electronic configuration is d7. Now here d8. So now if d electrons increases, then crystal field splitting decreases the electrons increases from the crystal field splitting decreases now what we conclude the base, basis of uh, these d electrons so generally the number of d electrons increases on the metal cation then it prevents the ligand approaching it prevents the ligand approaching that's why the crystal field splitting is lesser one the crystal field splitting is lesser than the uh, lesser number of d electrons now what we conclude D electrons is inversely proportional to the splitting energy. Number of D electrons is inversely proportional to the splitting energy. Now, in the third example, in the third example is principal quantum number. Principal quantum number. So in general, the principal quantum number is nothing but, so now let us take the iron, ruthenium, osmium. So in this case, if both oxidation state is same, both the number of electrons are also same, but they are deferred their principal quantum number, which is relate, related to the 3D, 4D, 5D. Here principal quantum number 3, 4, 5 are changed. So if principal quantum number from changes to from 3D to 5D, it is approximately increases 50%. Okay. Approximately increases 50%. From iron to ruthenium, 25%. Almost all. 20, here to here, 25%. Overall, it is 50% increase we observed. Now, in case, cobalt, NH3, 6 times plus 3. Rhodium, NH3, 6 times plus 3. Iridium, NH3, 6 times plus 3. Now, here the values are 
23,400 centimeter inverse. Now the second one is 34,100 centimeter inverse. Now here 41,200 centimeter inverse. Approximate values. These are the approximate values. Now what we observed here 3D electrons is the lesser splitting energy when compared to 4D and 5D. Now based on the based on this experiment we conclude that crystal field splitting is directly proportional to the principal quantum number. Principal quantum number. That means delta is directly proportional to the n. Delta is directly proportional to the n. Now the fourth factor. The fourth factor is geometry. So generally crystal field splitting is directly proportional to the coordination number. If coordination number increases, crystal field splitting increases. So based on that uh, delta O is greater than that of delta T. We are already observed uh, delta O having the plus four, uh, minus 4 and 6 but uh, delta T having the just uh, minus 2.7 and uh, plus 1 0.18 uh, minus 0.27 plus 0 0.18 that means delta o is greater than that of delta t but in case of square planar complexes square planar complexes now here the square planar complexes always uh, stable at a 3d8 configuration almost all it forms a 3d8 com configurations uh, heavier but uh, exceptionally sometimes 3d9 3d10 also possible now in 4d and 5d cases whatever the ligand whatever the ligand it forms uh, oh, it forms the strong field ligands strong field ligands but uh, in case of 3d it forms only in the presence of strong field cn minus co like no2 minus etc so in case of 3d it forms with only strong field ligands 4d and 5d cases every ligand considered as a strong field that's why square planar complexes in presence of strong field only that's why it having the large crystal field splitting which is greater than that of those two, which is greater than that of those two. Now, the final order is delta SP is greater than that of delta O, which is greater than that of delta T. Now, we know the relations. Delta T is equal to 4 by 9 of delta O. Delta SP is equal to 1.33 of delta O. These two are the useful relations. Now, we discussed about a fifth factor. This is the final one. Based on this, we will discuss about the spectrochemical series. Now, the fifth factor is nature of ligand. Ligand nature. So, in general, ligand nature is nothing but uh, it is mainly depends upon the two K factors. One is relative energy of metal cation. Another one is orbital overlapping of ion. Orbital overlapping of ligands. Orbital over so relative energy of metal cation we discussed earlier first to third cases. But orbital overlapping is nothing but so generally pi acceptor ligands, sigma donor ligands. Sigma and pi donor ligands are present. So ligands are classified into the donaticity. So pi acceptor, sigma donor, pi donor. So in generally, pi acceptor ligands having the high strong field, high crystal field splitting energy, high crystal field splitting energy. Pi donor ligands having the least crystal field splitting energy, least crystal field splitting energy. But sigma donor in between them, sigma donor in between them. So now, based on this, uh, we conclude an spectrochemical series. Spectrochemical series. So generally, it, it depends upon the several factors. So the first factor, basicity. So according to basicity, ethylene diamine is greater than that of ammonia. So this is the crystal field splitting energy. Again, the base, base, based of uh, pi donor ca capacity, so fluorine minus greater than bromine, uh, chlorine minus greater than that of Br minus iodine minus. So this is these are the halide ions splitting uh, splitting factor. Like a halide ions nature is it is more more splitting 
more uh, splitting energy factor now when compared to chloride bromide iodide so due to its uh, pi donor capacity due to its uh, pi donor capacity now whenever so uh, pi donor that means a uh, pi electron donor it is only uh, pi donor but uh, here in case of oxygen oxygen or sulfur containing pi donors like uh, oh oh minus water uh, ammon uh, not ammonia oh minus water or coo minus these are the less uh, lesser and uh, uh, more crystal field splitting than the uh, halide ions these, these are the more crystal field splitting that of uh, halide ions now the fourth one is pi acceptor ligands those are cn minus co then phenanthrolene then ncs minus like a NO2 minus DMG EDTA ethylene diamine those are the strong field ligands phenanthrolene bipyridine these are the pi acceptor ligands that's why all these are the strong field ligands all these are the strong field ligands with the help of these factors we arrange the spectrochemical series in well known manner spectrochemical series in well known manner spectrochemical now here spectrochemical series so uh, based on the their split, splitting energy values we arrange the uh, different ligands in a series so iodine minus having the least uh, least splitting energy carbonyl cyanide cyanide minus are the highest splitting energies so highest splitting energies are pi acceptor ligands these are the pi donor ligands these are the pi donor in the pi donor halides after the uh, halides having the lesser energy when compared to oxygen pi donors oxygen pi donors now here we conclude the, the several points in 3d case up to ammonia it act as a weak field ligand up to ammonia it act as a weak field ligand so onwards ammonia after the or onwards after ammonia it act as a strong field ligand after ammonia it act as a strong field ligand but exceptionally cobalt plus three ammonia act as a strong field act as a strong field Again, more than plus three oxidation state, uh, some of the d metal uh, d metals will show the higher uh, strong field nature, even though like uh, uh, halides also like nickel, it shown uh, plus four oxidation state. It it is it act as a strong field ligand each and every one. Now the four D and five D series spectrochemical series is not applicable. Spectrochemical series uh, is not applicable. Here every ligand act as a every ligand act as strong field. Every ligand act as a strong field. Now here we discussed the spectrochemical series in 3D cases only. 4D and 5D cases every ligand act as a strong field ligand. Every D, every ligand act as a strong field ligand. So generally, strong field and weak field ligands is nothing but when our so crystal field gap the ligand approachment on the uh, metal cation will will use uh, will use the some splitting that splitting energy is lesser than it said to be weak field ligands then splitting energy is much more than it is called strong field energy then it is called strong field energy so these are the factors which are affected on the crystal field splitting energy now thank you for watching